The Federal Bureau of Investigation, the National Policing Agency of the United States, admits to have compiled a terrorist screening database with the names of persons suspected or alleged to be involved in terrorism. The list contains the names of over one million people who have been convicted of no crime and given no chance to defend themselves. One activity of the terrorism screening database is the creation of the no-fly list, which prevents thousands of people, including many U.S. citizens, from boarding any aircraft. Once added to the list, things in their lives can become very difficult. Wilfredo Torres suddenly found himself being subject to all kinds of harassment after he began protesting discrimination and travel policies. In one instance, he was removed from a flight by airline officials. Uh, told me, you are not traveling in my plane. So I was already seated in the plane, and uh, the official said, no, you're not traveling in my plane. I was taken off the plane. When Mr. Torres' lawyer filed a request for information, the FBI revealed that it had collected over 100 pages of information about him. He now wants to have his name removed from the list. This list is basically a uh, hit list by the federal government, the FBI, the Central Intelligence Agency, and the National Security Agencies to attack people that disagree with the policies of the government. Uh, this list uh, was initiated by mostly by George Bush and expanded by George Bush, but is kept under Obama and uh, is free of life, and uh, people like me get attacked all the time. The FBI and other divisions of the U.S. Department of Justice have a long history of suppressing political dissent over the course of the last five decades. A lawsuit has been filed by the American Civil Liberties Union in the hope that courts will intervene and halt the continued use of such lists. Caleb Maupin, Press TV, New York.